Hello, I'm System Override of OverideSystems.com and today I'm going to show you a little tutorial on how to create a server using Winsock and Visual Basic. Alright, I've got myself a nice little empty project here. As you can see, first thing I'm going to do is go to Project, Components, and you got to add the Winsock control. It's right there under Microsoft Winsock control. Go ahead and come down here and click OK. And then you can just double click it. It'll add it on there beautifully anywhere. It doesn't matter where it goes. It's not visible at runtime anyway. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a text box. And all right, let's make it a little bit bigger. And we're going to come over here. And we're going to clear out the text that's there. And, like I said, this is the simplest form. There would be a lot more you'd want to do to this, but I'm just teaching you the basics right now. So, alright, go ahead and double click on your form for form load. Um, what you need is one sock. Once again, right up in here. One sock one. You don't need to set the local host name or anything like that or local IP. You just need to, need to set the local port. We're going to go ahead and set it to 420. And then tell it to listen. Now the next thing we're going to do is go into WinSox code. And on a connection request we need to close it. That's very important. That's a step I see a lot of people miss. I miss it myself from time to time. And then we need to tell it to accept the connection and go with the request ID. We need to go with all of this request ID. We, we pull request ID from up here. Uh, the program will pass it for us. And the last thing you really need to do is do something with the data. And you can just come up here and choose data arrival. You need to define a string, which of course you can name anything you want. And then you need to tell Winsock to, like I said, we're in the data arrival sub. So you can tell Winsock to get the data. And then put it into text one. And that'll that'll pretty well give you everything you need. Now to run this and to test it, it's not a really great test, but one way to test it is through Telnet. You can go ahead and run the program and then bring up yourself a command window right here. Type Telnet. If you're using Windows 7 by the way, Telnet's not enabled by default. Just Google Windows 7 Telnet, it'll show you how it's in the control panel. And then go to localhost running it on your own machine and the port name that we entered was 420 and it enters there and type in I rule now it doesn't show up in telnet here but over here you see that everything you type if you sit there and watch side by side the two applications everything you type in this application will show up right over here in real time and that's just a quick, simple, easy tutorial on how to use uh, the Winsock client as a server. And of course, it would go much deeper than this, but this is just for beginners. But hope that gets you started and gives you a uh, a base point to go off of. Once again, I am System Override of OverideSystems.com, and I hope you enjoy this quick little tidbit.